Hello guys, do you know meaning of these terms when you create a VPN? I am going to tell you what these settings are and what they means. So for this guys watch this video till the end. Welcome back to my channel Firewall Gan. I hope uh, you guys are doing well. So in this video we are going to talk about some of the important terms of VPNs mostly we will use these terms in terms of remote access VPN and the side to side VPNs and I'm sure uh, you have used these things uh, multiple times but uh, uh, maybe you're not clear about it so today's video is I'm clearing you on VPN tunnel sharing and these the terms so I will tell you what this means I will tell you what this means and why I will tell you what this means okay let me uh, let me clear the screen and let me tell you uh, how I come here so basically whenever you will create any VPN community for your VPN connection that time you know you have to do the setting for your vpn tunnels and under the tunnel management you will see this vpn tunnel sharing for the side to side vpns okay now let's understand uh, with the help of the diagram what this means so keep in mind we are talking about the vpl tunnel sharing settings so consider this is uh, uh, we we have uh, we are trying to set up a tunnel between site A and B. Uh, these two are the firewalls. So this is the firewall two. This is firewall one. And consider these are the checkpoint firewalls. Now, as we are setting a tunnel, we have some interesting traffic here, which we call it interesting traffic in a Cisco world in checkpoint world we call it a domain but it's encryption domain okay so of course site A also having some systems network behind it okay this is also we call in a checkpoint wall encryption domain now consider uh, we have a uh, different things here one we have host but of course uh, when we talk about the networking we define some subnets for the private traffic so say 192.168.1.0 is the subnet at the A side and here consider the subnet is 10.1.1.0 at the B side okay and this PC is uh, having the IP address from these subnets okay so this is a scenario and this will be the side to side VPN tunnel which we are trying to set up okay so now let's go back to the setting and see what it is number one is talking about the VPN tunnel per each pair number two VPN tunnel per subnet pair number three VPN tunnel per gateway pair so I'll be talking about this settings one by one so let's talk on that so number one is VPN tunnel per each pair of host do this number one VPN tunnel per each pair of host what this means a VPN tunnel is created for every session initiated between the every pair of host what that setting means if you select this uh, radio button what tunnel will assume that this is one host so consider we have this host 
and here also we have some host so if you are trying to initiate a communication between say host 1 and host 2 here via tunnel it's saying a VPN tunnel will be created for every session initiated between every pair of hosts. So whatever session will be initiated from this pair, for that one tunnel will be created. What that means? The, com the tunnel traffic will pass from here, from the tunnel. And here, for this communication, for every session initiation, a pair of host session initiation one tunnel will be created itself it's like a connection between this machine to this machine wire tunnel will create i hope the point is clear the second one one vpn tunnel per subnet pair so one vpn tunnel will create for each subnet pair what that means consider for your domain we have an interesting traffic say 192.168.1.0 and you also have some other network here right say 16 and here also you have some different network okay so for every pair of a subnet what that means this is one subnet and this is one subnet consider and you are trying to communicate between this subnets host and this subnet host via this tunnel what that means the communication for say one of the machine from this subnet will be initiated or communicated to the one of the machine from this subnet that communication will go via subnet but what will happen for every pair of this subnets connection one tunnel will form what that means any host which will trying to communicate from this subnet to this subnet consider like that if you have multiple subnet and multiple subnet from that the communication is getting established with another subnet the one tunnel will create okay here the difference between the first one is that not for the every pair of hosts the tunnel is created now the number three is your vpn tunnel per gateway so number three is vpn tunnel for gateway what that means one vpn tunnel is created between peer gateways and shared by all hosts behind each gateway what that means whatever the host we have behind this gateway the tunnel will be created between them but it will be act like one vpn tunnel per gateway so whatever the host will be having behind this gateway behind this gateway but the tunnel will be created via this gateways but it's shared by all hosts behind each peer gateways right i hope the this topic is get cleared here so guys uh, this is important things what we use in the vpns so thanks for watching this video and have a wonderful day.